Where you paint is just as important as what you paint. I'm Will, this is GDS Miniatures, and let's talk about what makes a good hobby space. So I've recently moved house. Thing, it'll give us so much extra space in our room to do activities. At my old house, I was hobbying on my kitchen counter, and this was less than ideal for a number of reasons. The counter itself was much too high and uncomfortable. It wasn't a good place to sit. My knees kept bashing into the dishwasher in front of me. And most annoyingly of all, I had to get everything out that I needed to use for a session and then put it all away afterwards. And that just took up a lot of time and was kind of a barrier to me actually doing hobby because I had to get over the idea that I had to get all of my tools out before I could have some fun. However, I had to make do with what I had because there's nowhere else in the house for me to do any hobbying. Now, however, I can have a dedicated hobby space. It's time to make some much needed improvements. One thing you don't realize is just how big your pile of shame is until you've got to put it all into a box and move it to a different house. What I've done is I've bought myself an old Victorian writing desk. First thing I had to do was unpack all my stuff. I haven't done a lot of hobbying at my new hobby desk, however, the experience of hobbying at this new location is so much better than it was before. I no longer have to set up and pack away everything that I need. I've got everything to hand right in front of me. It's either in a drawer or in one of the little cubby holes. It's, it's brilliant. So not only is there not that barrier there for me of having to get all my stuff out before I can even do any hobby, there's also another benefit that I didn't really realise in, in that I can just stop. Previously, when I was painting on the kitchen counter, I had to come to a good stopping point because I had to pack everything away. Now I can just rinse my brush off, empty my water out, and I've finished painting. Another big bonus of my current setup is I have everything to hand. I don't have to go fishing in a separate cupboard. The thing I need, it's either in one of the drawers near my desk or it's in a, another set of drawers I've got just behind me. So everything's to hand. I have everything I could possibly need for what I want to do. And that's perfect. Uh, again, breaking down those barriers that are preventing me from doing any hobby. Also, being able to sit comfortably at a desk is <laughs> so much better. Much better. Having everything at the right level where I can like rest and brace myself nicely without having to like, you know, move literally away from the place where I'm painting. So I can paint comfortably here. I can, you know, have my hands on the desk painting comfortably and a couple of like smaller things that have really uh, improved the spaces it, it looks great it's a fantastic looking piece of furniture and you know I've also now got a dedicated space for my 3d printer which is ace it's no longer tucked away in a cupboard in a bedroom so this this space is going to evolve as time goes on my wife and I are going to redecorate this room before too long and once that's done I'll be able to put some shelving up for paints and whatnot uh, there'll be other small improvements I can make to the space and it's going to evolve as we settle in to the house we've just moved into. So let's list out all the important things that I've realised since I've been able to have a dedicated hobby space. Having a dedicated space means that there are fewer barriers for you to actually start painting and there's no longer that kind of mental hurdle of I've got to get everything out before I can start painting. I can literally just sit down, flip the desk down, and begin work. There's that subtle one of just being able to stop whenever I feel like it. Not having to consider having to pack everything away so you have to feel like you've got to do a good amount of hobby and come to a good stopping point. You can just paint for a little bit and stop. It's great. Having everything organized and w within arm's reach is really, really important. Again, it helps break down that barrier to you being motivated to do any hobby. It being a comfortable space that you want to be in is another important thing I found. I love painting in my new space. I no longer have to go through the rigmarole of getting all my stuff out and having all that setup that I need to get stuff done. It's just so much more pleasant to be in a comfortable spot with everything to hand. I really recommend that you get yourself a dedicated space for your hobby where you can leave things set up to hobby. I know that's not always possible. It wasn't possible for me until I moved house. And if it's not possible for you, I feel for you because it does put a barrier for your motivation to get some hobbying done. I now feel more energized and motivated to paint. So that's what I'm gonna do, a lot more painting. I'd love to hear from you guys. What's your hobby space like? 
Are you fortunate enough to have a dedicated hobby space like me? Or are you stuck having to pack everything away at the end of your hobby in time, just like I was in my previous house? Leave me a comment down below. And if you'd like to support the channel, please click subscribe or check out some of the links I've got in the description. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.